some big news coming in. The Supreme Court allows the defense personnel to vote. The Supreme Court has ruled that defense personnel can vote from where they are posted. The Supreme Court has gone ahead and issued this notice to the Election Commission. And this, of course, will be a welcome move for the army. Remember, the government was against the army being allowed to vote. But now the Supreme Court has stated that defense personnel can vote from where they are posted at peace stations. This is uh, finally a verdict being given by the Supreme Court. It has gone back and forth, but the government made it very clear that they are against the same. But the Apex Court going ahead and anyway allowing for defence personnel to be able to cast their vote. It has sent a notice to the Election Commission with regard to the same. Now, this particular uh, order means that the defence personnel will be able to vote from wherever they are posted. There will be peace stations set up across the country, which is where these defense personnel will be allowed to vote. My colleague Nishida joins us over the phone line with more information. Nishida, over to you. Take us through exactly what the Supreme Court ruled. Well, in fact, this comes in the backdrop of the government actually going and opposing uh, this uh, plea, numerous pleas that went on to state that defense personnel who have been stationed uh, outside from their hometown should be given the right uh, to vote in the place where they have been stationed. Uh, there was opposition coming in from the Punjab Haryana government. Uh, and numerous high courts have dismissed this, but now the Supreme Court has come up with a landmark judgment. It has or gone, gone ahead and has, and has said that defense personnel who have been stationed in peace stations and who are already not registered as voters can get themselves enrolled as electors uh, in the general election uh, where the poll process has not commenced. Now we understand that poll process has commenced in already 225 Lok Sabha constituencies. So in the remaining constituencies, uh, people, uh, defense personnel who are stationed there can register as voters and can vote there. But there are uh, certain clauses attached to this. If they're already uh, registered as voters in their hometowns, then they cannot register. And also, if it is not a peace station, of course, uh, they cannot register. Uh, we, we understand that even uh, the armed forces, the army had uh, opposed uh, this particular uh, decision, these pleas, saying that it would uh, lead to a security breach, as if these uh, defense personnel need to register themselves as voters. Their details will be given out. Their area of deployment will be given out. Their age, all their details will be out in the open. And that it could prove to be a major security threat. That's the reason why should not be allowed and uh, the same similar reasons were given by the Punjab and Haryana high courts uh, similar reasons were given by numerous state governments that they would not want to take up uh, this process uh, without streamlining the entire system and uh, the defense uh, uh, or the, the armed forces also defended uh, saying that they can already use the postal ballots uh, and uh, they are uh, allowed to take leave, go ahead and cast their vote and come back on uh, election day. So what exactly is the need for this entire new system? But on the other hand, uh, defense personnel who were not able to vote all these years have gone on to say that even if with the use of postal ballot, their uh, uh, vote would not reach on time and hence their vote would go waste and uh, which was very, very disheartening for them. So it is the uh, two arguments here that has been put forward, but looks like the Supreme Court for now has uh, gone uh, the defense personnel way, uh, Akshita. Right, Anishita, thank you so much for joining us with all that information. Well, we need to highlight at this point that this will not impact the voters list of the present elections, considering that the election process has already commenced at the Supreme Court, but going ahead and stating that all defense personnel who are posted at peace stations and who are not already registered as voters can get themselves enrolled as electors in the general elections, where the poll process has not yet commenced.